3 Dangers of Your Gut Bacteria Crisis What happens if you have low good gut bacteria and high bad gut bacteria? 1. Weaken your immune system. 2. Absorb toxins into your blood. 3. Dirty colon and poor colon health. How much bacteria is in our body? We have 10 times more bacteria than our own cells. Bacteria cells to human cells is 10 to 1. So, they are very important. The good bacteria in our gut is called probiotic. How our gut talks to our brain. There are three ways our gut bacteria communicate with our brain. 1. With the gut's special nervous system enteric nervous system. It links to the brain via the central nervous system. 2. Send chemical messages into the blood. 3. Via immune system. Here are benefits we get from our probiotic. If we have good gut bacteria, we will have good blood and good vascular, good immune system, good brain and good emotion. It fights against germs and bad gut bacteria, bacteria from meats and toxins. It helps in digestion and nutrient absorption. It produces many important nutrients. For example, short chain fatty acid. The food of our probiotic, soluble fiber, is called prebiotic. The outcome of our probiotic fermentation is called postbiotic. What is short chain fatty acid? SCFA. Human cannot digest soluble fiber, prebiotic, but our gut bacteria can. The fermentation in our gut by our bacteria produces many powerful nutrients. The important one is short chain fatty acid, postbiotic. It is the smallest type of fat structure. It's very hard to be found in any food but we can get it from our gut bacteria by feed them soluble fibers. Here are the benefits of this fat. Strengthen immune system. Reduce inflammation. Reduce allergic. Regulate the immune system and inflammation. Reduce craving and support metabolism. Provide energy for the colon. Why do you have bad gut bacteria? Why is your probiotic gone? 1. Don't eat enough plants with prebiotic. It weakens your good gut bacteria. 2. Eating meats produce many bad gut bacteria in your colon. They also produce many toxins and destroy your good bacteria. These toxins will be absorbed into your blood too. 3. Antibiotic will destroy most of your bacteria, but some bad bacteria can develop themselves to survive. So, it produces bad bacteria with antibiotic resistance in your body. So, please take care of your good gut bacteria today by going vegan, or at least, eat less meats and more plants.